Hello everyone, good morning. Today is pet scan day. What, what? And we are terrified. <laughs> Oops, it's bouncing. What is it doing? It's not balancing very well. It's pet scan day and we are terrified. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't have much else except for I'm scared. Yep, my injection is at 12, where they inject the radioactive fluid into me, whatever it is, and then... Something to make you light up like a Christmas tree. Let's hope I don't light up like a <laughs> Christmas tree. And then at 1, it, I get my PET scan. That lasts, from what I remember, 20 to 30 minutes. I don't quite remember because... I try to block it out of my memory, mm -hmm. <laughs> but last time I was really anxious. I felt trapped and claustrophobic, so I am going to take anxiety medicine for the first time before a PET scan, so. Word. Hopefully that helps. You had to eat a special... Special diet last special night. Special diet last Green night beans, and yesterday. broccoli. Well, they say only the dinner before to eat a special diet, but, but yeah. I do the whole day because You're I'm paranoid. extra. <laughs> and last night I had sausage, green beans, and broccoli for dinner. Um, and you haven't been able to um, eat it all this morning? No. Just water. Right. So I can't eat until after the scan. So I'm hungry. I prefer when I get these scans really early so I can... Go eat. And... I think my first PET scan at Kaiser was... Six in the morning? No, like... At night? Afternoon, oh, evening. Oh, that's miserable. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna go eat. I wonder what we're gonna eat. Your your pick. <laughs> Anything you want. I want. Anything you want. Anywhere you want. I dressed cozy in my comfort Disneyland sweater. That's right. No metal for these scans. Winnie is with my dad, and she's really excited about that. Yeah, she was happy. And Ellis is at school. I can't be around them after the PET scan because I'm radioactive. Ready? So they're going to stay at my parents till bedtime, <laughs> and then Kyle will pick them up and keep them away from me until I'm allowed to be around them. Stay away. Clean it all off, shower it off. Yeah. Sweat it out. All right, let's go to the PET scan. We're very early, by the way. Very early. Very, very early. Typical Apple fashion here. Yeah. It's okay. It's how I, uh, my dad raised me to be early. And I think my mom's always early, too. Okay. All right, guys. I'm in the pet scan room. Let's see. I got the injection of the radioactive fluid, whatever it is, and I will sit here for an hour and then go get my PET scan. Let's hope it goes well. I am out of my PET scan, yay. I did it and I did not have a panic attack. I was like dozing off because I took Ativan before and it helped so much. So I'm really grateful for that option. If you have the option to do that, I would recommend it if you're claustrophobic or struggling with anxiety during the scans. It really helped. What'd you do when I was... Sat in the courtyard, enjoyed the birds. <laughs> Did you get any footage? Uh, no footage. That would have been nice. <laughs> No footage. Um, you know how they have that like pond? Don't they have a pond? Mm -hmm. You could have gone, gone over there, there. yeah. There. We'll good. go there sometime, yeah. show you guys. And did you get Starbucks? I did. Oh, I forgot to say that. That was nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, well. Go get some lunch. I'm really tired from the Ativan, so I'm gonna go to sleep while we drive towards our home. And we're gonna turn off 
our get phones. some food. <laughs> We're gonna turn off our phones. Kyle doesn't want to hear from them. He's saying, "Leave me alone, please. Leave me, leave alone. me alone." I don't want to hear it. Um, I leave a PET scan feeling happy, and I don't know if that's common or not. I feel like maybe I should be leaving scared, <laughs> thinking about the results. But I'm just happy that I completed the PET scan without having a panic attack and... It's one less PET scan in your life. Yeah, so yeah. I did it. I got through the procedure and on to the next thing. Yep. And I think it's going to be good news. Oh yeah? I don't know if I'm delusional, <laughs> if it's the Ativan talking, <laughs> oh but God. I'm like, in my head I'm thinking, it's going to be good. Why not? It's gonna be good, am I right? It's gonna be good news. Well, we just had a CT and it the CT was pretty good. So, I mean, barring any craziness going on in the world. And if there's anything alarming or new, we have a team at City of Hope. We have a team upstairs. We have a team all around us, amongst us. Yep. We can get through it no matter what it is, yeah, so. it'll be okay. I feel okay. Yep. The train. And you can't be mad when you're going to get lunch. You can't be mad when you're going to get lunch, no way. No way, Jose. Especially since I haven't eaten since seven o'clock last night. Yep. I ain't mad about going to get lunch. Mm -mm. Might make some unhealthy choices. That's right. That's life. That's life. And I'm living. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do with me, babe? Keep you're just, hanging out with you're you. just gonna love me. Yep, no matter what. Okay, let's go get food. Let's see let's what we it. eat. Let's see. Vote. Do you think it's gonna be something healthy or something naughty? <laughs> let's see. We'll see. We are at the park and we chose to eat Spotless Burger. It's an all vegan plant-based restaurant in Upland and it looks really good. Kyle's had it with Ellis before yeah. and you guys liked it, right? Oh, we loved it. But now it's my first time trying it. So we didn't go with healthy, whoops. We went with um, some comfort food. We've got these fries that are like animal style fries. These are some Supreme Asada fries. Taco Trio Combo. Taco Trio Combo. And what'd you get me here? Burger. Spotless Burger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How was it? Really good. Picnic in the park. I love you. I love you. We finished our lunch at the park and we both agreed that it was meh. Right, babe? Yeah. Eh. Uh, I think I would have rather had Kyle's home cooking. <laughs> yep. So uh, maybe you can cook later. I can. But it it was good, just not the best. And um, I tried to lay flat there, like I was a normal person soaking up the sun, and it hurt really bad. So. We got up and left. Such a bummer to have cancer and to have all these pains with it and stuff. But at least I'm alive. Yep. Now Kyle's gonna run in the grocery store to get stuff for Ellis's class party. On Halloween. On Halloween. We'll be back. We showed you all of that footage from the 5k lung cancer walk and 
in it you hear me say in my speech a joke about my shoes for a 5k my shoe choice for a 5k and i never showed a close-up of my shoes so here is a close-up of my shoes do you have your phone so i can do like the flashlight babe mm, yeah it'll look so much better with the flashlight and these are oddly very comfortable they're betsy johnson and we kind of went with a cinderella vibe for our team and so these were supposed to be like my glass slippers Ooh. does it look cool it does so those were my sneakers and like i said surprisingly very comfortable and then i wanted to show you guys the shirts we made because i never did a close-up of that i was so nervous about the speech that i forgot to go over all this stuff so they're a little wrinkly but these are the t-shirts my sister and brad had kyle and i over to help design them and my sister has a cricket and then brad ordered some screen printing stuff so this is what we came up with as a team and as you see out on the outside the uh, circle it says lung cancer non-smoking lung cancer awareness with the ribbon and in the middle have courage and be kind and that comes from a movie a live action movie anyone anyone know what it is before i say it it is from cinderella the live action cinderella and her mother says to her before she passes away have courage and be kind and i feel like that fits in with my way of living and my, my sister kept suggesting it because she's like jen that's you so i love that and then the back this was my shirt says warrior and then the back of everyone else's shirts on our team said our brave jenny that's the name of the facebook group my cousins came up with and then the kids had shirts we couldn't get them the same color blue so we just did theirs white with blue font and it says our brave jenny i didn't think about it till later but we should have made ellis and winnie's shirts say our brave mommy i feel like that would have been really cute oh, but yeah. we didn't think of it till after and then this is my shirt that I got at the race from the GoTo Foundation and ready to see the back. Are you ready? Survivor! Survivor! I was so nervous. I was like, Kyle, do I count as a survivor? Am I included in the survivors? He's like, yeah, Jen, you're a survivor. And I was like... <laughs> Well, no, because, like, some people are, like, really particular about the labels. And some people don't want any labels. But, like, warrior is, like, you're battling it. Survivor is, like, you're past it and you overcame it. Right? Right. Typically. And then, are there other ones? Thriver. Thriver means you're living with cancer. So... I thought like when I became stage four like oh no am I ever gonna be able to refer to myself as a survivor and someone said someone in our lung cancer yeah. group and someone else said you're surviving you're surviving lung cancer right now well if you're alive you're surviving it so you're a survivor and that's how they look at it I guess yep. this company and I was like oh my gosh I'm a survivor and I was so proud to be a survivor we, you know, we all want a little Beyonce. And you took a nice photo I'm with them. I'm a survivor. <laughs> yeah, I took a picture with all the survivors. I wish I got people's information and contacts because that would have been nice. But my brain was all over the place There's that day. There's a lot day. going on, yeah. yeah. It was really overwhelming. Like, oh, here's my doctor. Here's my aunt and cousins and... Yeah. Aunt, there's no aunt. There's my mom and dad and cousins and sister and brother-in-law and these are my kids and this is my niece and it was just a lot going on. So I wish I would have connected more with people. We got recognized, our team, 
for raising the most money, right? Wasn't it 3315? I don't recall. I think it was, it's definitely over $3,000 that our team raised. Yeah. Yep, right there. $3,315 is how much money my team raised. So thank you guys so much for donating. Thank you for everyone who was a part of my team. That money to be on the team went towards donating. Mm -hmm. So I am so grateful for all of you. We could not have done this without you. And your donations will literally save lives. So thank you so much. We are so grateful. Our any Anyone who donated, we got recognized. You got recognized yeah. as having the second highest raising team. Oh yeah, is that what it was? Yeah, the second highest, second highest. fundraising amount that uh, the team has made. We were the second, so. But then me as an individual raised fundraiser the most, right? raised the most. Yeah. And that was because of Karen. Do you remember Karen's last name? Uh -uh. Wasn't Karen the highest donor under my name? Yeah, she put it under your name. Uh, I don't remember her name, but. Yeah, so thank you, Karen. Hopefully I'm getting your name right. Um, but I had the biggest individual donation and then our team was the second biggest, is that yep, right? Yep. Yeah, so which none of that <laughs> matters, but just raising enough money for cancer research is incredible. So we're so grateful, thank you guys. Yep, thank you. I love my sparkly shoes. You guys know I love a sparkle. The PET scan went well. Did we talk about it at all? Mm, you did a little. The gentleman that took care of me in there was so nice. <laughs> Whew. I took anxiety medicine, which helped. I was like falling asleep in the PET scan, which has never happened, and I was grateful to be. Um, you were nervous about laying down and you were able to do it? Yeah, I was nervous about being able to lay flat and I did it. You know, ever since, the, like I struggled to lay flat because of the pains my cancer causes. And when I had the fluid in my lung, it was like, no way could I lay flat. It felt like someone was cutting off breathing. So it was good. Yeah. We will give you guys results as we get them. I'm not sure when we'll get them. Towards the end of the day today, still haven't heard anything, so that's... Kyle's like, uh, they better not call before Halloween. Mm -hmm. Let us enjoy our holiday. That's our night. We love Halloween. <laughs> Don't take that away from us. <laughs> Unless it's good news and you can call us anytime you want. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, otherwise, we'll be there next week. Right? I have appointments next week. Is it already next week? Yeah, I think next so, Wednesday. Yeah. So, we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. Figure we'll it figure out. It out gonna be good news good news right guys good news we're all manifesting good news yep we have been be all right before we go here is some footage from the pumpkin patch we went to a couple days ago um it was a lot of fun we do it every year we went with my sister her husband her kids my parents and my brother and then of course our little family sorry flower um we filmed just some clips here they are and i think that's why i'm all sniffly it's because there was so much dust and hay going around it got like everyone's allergies going yeah. so that or i'm getting a cold we'll see but it was fun it was fun so here's some footage from that
guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to have an update for you guys soon. If you would like to follow me in real time, you can head over to my Instagram, at Jenny Appleford. Is that my name? That's it. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Or I have links in the description below. All right, love you guys. I appreciate you so, 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 so much. So much flower. Thank you. Bye. Bye.